Well, show enough, it's that time again. We got a battery box to do today. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the battery tie downs. Um, I do only have one physical battery here, but it should be pretty easy. I gotta do it for two because we're gonna be putting a second battery in here. Mark ourselves out of line. Then slide it over back to this outside where it sits too. And we have a half an inch. All right, that's about three quarters of an inch. So we will definitely have more than enough room to fit two in here, side by side. And we already have tie downs in the frame. So I already have tie downs in the frame down here. These are half by 20 thread. Well, really all I have to do is build some standoff posts on both sides. Then from there, we'll just make a strap that lines up even with just these holes down here because they should go straight up from there. So we'll make that a big strap that'll hold two of them down. Then after we get those built, we'll build a box that drops down around them and has a lid. And the battery strap actually holds nice and tight and secure and is vented to meet all the rules that we need to meet. So, show sure enough, let's box these batteries in. All right, so I got some half inch hardware here. It's half by 20 fine thread, 5 eighths chromoly tube here. Is we're gonna cut the heads of these bolts off so they can slide inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the long ones. We'll weld those ones in, and then we'll get some of our measurements of what we need for length. And then we'll cut the tube, and then weld the other ones in. That'll be the start of this box. So it can still come through this way a little more, so I'll give it another tap. But that is actually pinned pretty good. And I'll weld both outer edges in place. And then where this other dot is, we'll put one more pin. And then that'll be that side, and then we'll repeat for the other side. All right, so I went over to the car, and I took the tape measure, and I measured from the top of my threaded posts on the chassis to the top of the battery and it was six inches and one eighth inch. So I want a little extra for the strap to tighten it down and all that. So we're gonna look at it as six inches thread to thread. So I went ahead and already marked off where they need to get cut. And then I only need about an inch of threads on the top side because that's where we're gonna put a washer and a nut to hold the battery strap down. So that leaves me an inch in here, and we're just gonna put one post on this. You guys are probably like, why not do two posts there? Well, I just wanted to show you guys a way to do two posts, you know, to get way more anchor. But what I'm doing for this battery tie down, I think it's way overkill anyways. So for the top, we're just gonna do a single post, but I just wanted to show you the technique, because it definitely adds strength to anything you're attaching inside of a tube. So, yeah, let's go ahead and cut this tube down, get these ones welded and pinned in, and we'll be done with that. We can move on to the box and the tie-down strap. Show no.
that snow down there? See, they just stick up just enough above the battery. All right, the threads are just below the top, so that's perfect, because we'll put the tie down, which will be, you know, 3 16 a washer, and a nut, and that'll be just enough. Those things are solid. Ooh, that one's warm. Grab that one. Those things are nice and strong in there. Oh yeah. Some eighth inch by one inch strap. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark where the studs are. Oh yeah. Didn't line up with that hole, but where it goes, you pretty much hog it out. But. As long as that fits over both studs, we pretty much have a strap. Nice. All right, well, let's go keep on making progress. Let's get this battery box built. Yeah. Okay. So I went ahead and sheared off a chunk of aluminum here to build the battery box. A four foot length piece should do exactly what we need it. For height, I want it nine inches. I also want a quarter inch fold in on both top and bottom to help seal the box. So I gave it nine and a half from here to here. And it's four foot the rest of the length. And we're gonna go ahead and line it out with some quarter inch marks for the brake. Morning guys. Day two of battery box. I had gotten a little frustrated last night, so I kinda ended up, it was towards the end of the afternoon. I kinda gave up on it because I was trying to bend quarter inch flaps while my brake and it just kept pushing it out. And then I ended up trying to hammer it over. And in my opinion, didn't turn out that great, kind of warped everything. So, slept on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do another piece, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it one inch overhangs. And then for the top side, I will use the shear to trim that back down to a quarter inch after bending. So I have more material to make the bend because the brake just kept pushing it out of it. So, it got frustrating. It's all good, I can still just trim this upper edge off and reuse a good, you know, 95% of what I had cut off there. Maybe I'll build a breather box for the Forerunner or something, I don't know. I reuse stuff, I don't like wasting stuff. Boom, there's our piece. So we'll go ahead and mark three quarters of an inch at the bottom and three quarter inches at the top. We'll break both of those in. And we're also gonna mark where all our bends that way are to create the box itself. And then where the three quarters go, we'll cut like 45s down to the center of each fold. And that'll make them come together all nice and then we can just tack those together. Mark this out. 13. Three eighths, ten, five eighths, thirteen, and three eighths. And we should be left with ten and five eighths. A little bit strong. So yesterday what I was having issues with was when I was breaking it, it was too close to this edge. So this piece that bends right here that actually performs the bend was actually pushing it back under the shear. So it was sliding out and bending one side and not the other. 
Very frustrating. So let's see. More bite, we should definitely. Much better, Ben. Yes, we do. All right, so we just got done breaking this for making it a channel. Show you from the end. So, now one side, we still gotta get the batteries in and out of. So three quarters of an inch is too much. So we're gonna go ahead and trim this lip now down to a quarter of an inch. Cause for the lid, I'm gonna put some like window or door seal foam. So I just want a little bit of an edge for that foam to seal against. Cause we have to have a sealed battery box per NHRA regulations. All right, so I got my relief cuts marked. So I need to go ahead and just cut all those out on all these sides real quick. Now we're back to the finger break, and we need to put all these folds in here. And you're probably like, well, how are you gonna get those things over it? Well, the great thing is these things unbolt, so I can slide it in here and look at what group of them is the best. So if I use two of these large plates, it'll span a majority of this. It only leaves like a quarter inch on both ends it's not making contact with, but I can remove the two next to it. That way they're not touching it, so then I'm able to fold this. So these are removable fingers and that's why it's called a finger break. So, looks like I'm gonna use these two, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these two medium-sized fingers off. Show sure enough, it's coming together. Yeah. Now that I got that seam all welded, we can go ahead and take it over to the car and test fit it. Hopefully it's nice and tight. Let's see how it sits. Nice and tight. Maybe it's a little hot. We'll let it cool for a little bit. All right, it cooled down a little bit and it's moving now, so. Well, it's definitely a tight fit. It's gonna be fun to get it back out, but I had to do that to get it where I need my notches for the straps. All right, I got the box back out. And then after getting out and looking at it closer where it was rubbing and I put my tape back on it, I realized that 
my one edge is over here where my bends were. I was actually at 13 and a half and not 13 three eighths where I wanted it to be. So I actually had to hammer on these ends right here. I'm both ends here to narrow the box this way. So I hammered both of those seams and then also that seam there. And now we're gonna test fit it. Hopefully, cause now it measures to what I wanted it to be. So it should hopefully slide in better than that last bead in I had on it. Oh, and I marked the back. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that fell in. Well, that fits a lot better. But the other thing I didn't notice was that I forgot this is at just a few degrees of slope. So what I gotta do is build a front standoff plate to just support that front edge. And then I'll build a bottom in here to support it instead of that being the support. We'll just go ahead and address that. And then our standoff slots still mark. So we'll put slots so that box will drop in with the battery tie down on it. And then you tighten these bolts down and batteries and the outside box is locked down in place. And then we'll have it so the lid is accessible to service the batteries. Yeah. All right, I got the box built and I got a piece of cut for the bottom. Beautiful. All right, well after I got the box in and I was looking at putting the strap in, I ran into an issue that I didn't foresee. So having studs on the top here, if I, wanted to slide my strap straight through the side of the box, I'd have to have a slot big enough for it to slide over the top and down, which would leave pretty big holes in the side of the box. So if I want them just the size of the strap, I really kind of need a female in here, you know, so it, the bolt goes in instead of a stud out. So I actually have some pieces of steel, quarter inch hardware, and it's tapped on both ends and it's weldable. Cut off just these one ends and then cut the ends off of this. And then we'll slide them in and weld them in at the same type of height. That way it fixes the issue. So big issue, simple fix. to see how it lines up in the car. I'll sit there. Put another one next to that. Ooh. Oh yeah, that'll work nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice and tight down on the battery. I think that'll do. Yeah. All right, so we got this battery box lid to finish up now. So next we just have to put a couple bends on it just to make it so it always lines itself up nicely. So it's got a little extra length because I'm gonna bend it on the front and back. I'm not gonna do all four sides because they would hit those. So, but it is gonna get a foam seal all the way around it so it will be a sealed box let's get it litted there we go that bent in just a little far and boom fits so I'm just waiting on a couple quick locks so on the strap I'm gonna put, weld a couple of the quick lock posts so it'll have a couple of them push button quick locks to hold the lid down tight and then 
the edges will be lined with a double sided or a single sided like window mold foam to keep it sealed to keep any gases from batteries out of the driver's compartment. No, no. Well, show enough. I'm just getting super excited to get back on it. Sean's excited. I'm excited. The guys are excited. And uh, we're ready to put a race car together. So we're going to go ahead and get some parts going for that. Um, we still got to get our transmission gears. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Give us a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. All right. Thanks a bunch.